My name is Heather and I'm a professional oil painter and snow sculptor here in St. Paul. Well, I believe the most Minnesotan thing about me is that I create work about the natural world while going outside in different places in Minnesota to create landscapes either on site in plain air or I'm taking reference photos and bringing it back to my studio here. I like to um, go on canoe trips and use the state park system and so a lot of my artwork stems from the experiences in the outdoors. Those experiences being immersed in the nature of Minnesota really comes out in my artwork. The other really Minnesotan thing that I do, of course, is snow sculpting, and I've been a professional snow sculptor for almost 10 years as well, so pretty much since I've been here. And I love snow sculpting. It's a great way to have a big public sculpture that is both ephemeral and beautiful and incorporates all those beautiful elements of art while bringing in the community. When I was a little girl, I used to paint all the time, and I come from a long line of creative people and painters specifically. So my great-grandfather was actually a Native American pictorial scene painter for the WPA back in um, the 1930s. And through him and my grandfather, he used to do graphic sign work, uh, there's just been a long lineage of creative people in my family. So when I was growing up, painting and arts were always encouraged. And as I grew older, I went to art school, specifically originally for painting, although I did end up as a textile major because I really enjoy process-oriented art. So that particular department really lent to my um, joy of color and pattern and texture and things that I bring back to my painting and my snow sculpting now. Well, I'm motivated to create, I think just from an ingrained feeling and need and longing in my soul. It's very soothing and therapeutic to create, but also I'm trying to synthesize my experiences of the outside world for other people and to bring the viewer into my own experience. I have such a love of the natural world and I have always done wilderness travel, but those experiences and, and, and being out in the world and seeing the beauty and power of nature is what I try to bring to other people. Right now, my tagline is land and heritage inspired art. And part of the reason why I include heritage in my description of my art is because my art has been going through a transition lately. I've started with a lot of my paintings being about my family's native and Mexican heritages, and I've transitioned more into what does that mean about the landscape around me and how I feel about the land around me, being someone who has a lot of heritage in this land. And so that's why I call it land and heritage inspired art. So a lot of my earlier work you'll see have a lot of imagery that's more southwest, where I grew up, where some family is, or more of my native side where my mom's family is in Michigan, and it's kind of transitioning to bringing the power of that, but within the landscapes that I see around me. One of my favorite pieces is the storm clouds at nightfall, and it's a large scale piece of a giant storm cloud just as the sun is setting, so you have the sunset just hitting the top of the cloud with the moon rising up above it, and the storm cloud is rolling in over the countryside. And this particular piece I really love because it's a scene from southeastern Minnesota, so a lot of people feel like it looks southwesty just based on the colorscape, which I always feel like is my own personal heritage coming through because growing up half my childhood in the southwest, that's just kind of what happens is that those colors never fully leave you. But really for me, it's the passion of the landscape and looking at the world around me and, and internalizing those colors and expressing them on the canvas. And I love working in large scale because not only is it an expression of what I see, but it also becomes a dance of painting. So the movement and the rhythm is my movements and rhythms as I'm creating the piece is what kind of comes across in the piece. I have a couple pieces that I've done at various favorite places in my life. And one of them is a view from uh, Otter Track Lake, looking at Benny Ambrose's old homestead up in the Boundary Waters. And part of what draws me to that area is the history of um, the Boundary Waters and how back when it became the Boundary Waters, there were still a few people that were living in there that got to stay beyond the time it became a wilderness area. And those couple, couple of those people were Benny Ambrose and Dorothy Moulter. And I visited both their homesteads on this trip and I created work from both of those places. 
So the Schmidt Artist Lofts is a really unique situation and we were so excited to live here. Um, it's a wonderful way for all these creative minds to get together in order to help propel our personal projects and community projects. There's definitely a lot of people that play different roles, there's people like to nurture each other's projects, there's people that are really good at promoting each other. Um, I love that about the community here. I love how here at the Schmidt we have a live-work situation and I'm so glad they provide studio space because otherwise that'd be difficult for us. So I have a solo exhibition of large-scale Minnesota cloudscapes that is going to happen here at the Schmidt in the Landmark Gallery. It opens May the 4th and it's going to run for two weeks. And I'm very excited. I'm working really hard to create all these large-scale works. So that's a big one. I oftentimes will meet with people who are getting fresh into the field and will have coffee. And so I was recently on a coffee date where someone was interested because they, they were getting back into painting after a long hiatus. And I know that feeling because I, I've been through that and they're wondering what can their next steps be. And my advice is really envision where you want to end up. What steps does it take to get there? Make a business plan, you know, set out some goals that are attainable you know, that you can do like every month, like one or two things. And then set out a schedule for yourself, because if you want to be a creator, you want to be an artist, you have to be disciplined enough to do a little bit of something every day, whether it is updating your website, updating your social media, getting in the studio and creating. It's all very important. Another really important thing about being an artist is that it's not just a creative passion, it's a business. So you have to run it like a business. It's very important to remember that you're an artist, you're a marketer, and you're a business person. And you have to be able to do all ends of it.